Hey, this is Automate a lot, and in this video I just want to show you really quick how you can create a sticky header or a sticky menu bar on the top of your page in Unbounce just by using CSS and without using any JavaScript whatsoever. So to get started, we need two boxes nested inside of each other, and for that, let me get this logo here out of the way and drag in the box, and you position this at the top of your hero section, so let's make this the whole width of the page, in this case 1080 pixels, and also use a height of 100 pixels. This is the same height of your sticky header later. Get rid of the border and set the background opacity of your outer box to none. And now let's add the second box inside of the first box, make it the same size. And here you can add your content. So let's drag in this logo here and also use a call to action. something like this. And now we need the style sheet. For that, I created a Google Doc, and it looks like this. And here you just copy the style, go to your landing page, create a new style sheet. Let's call this sticky. Paste the code, and what this does is it sets the position of the outer box to fixed, makes it as wide as the browser window, and also sets the Z index to 999, which is in front of all the other content. And for the inner box, it sets the position to 50% from the left and then pushes it 50% of the width of the box to the left. So it's always centered. And what we need here is the ID of the outer box and of the inner box. So let's click done. Select the inner box. On the right, scroll down until you see ID. In this case, it's AP POM box 157. Just copy this and also let's check the ID of the outer box, which is 156. So back to the style sheet and paste the ID for the outer box, which was 156, and the inner box, which was 157. Okay, and now if I click done, save it, and go to preview, you see we have our sticky header, which is in front of all the other content, it's centered, and it's always on the top of the page. And we still have the border and the wrong background, and to design this, you have two options, depending on what you have set for the background of your sections. So let's go back to edit. And the first option is if you don't have selected stretch background to page edges. In this case, you design the background of your sticky header via the inner box. So let's first get rid of the border and select a light blue as background, something like this. And if I save it and go to preview, you see we now have a different background. And if you have activated stretch background to page edges, so let me again go back to edit and select the hero section and activate stretch background to page edges. You now have to design the background of your sticky header via the outer box. So let me set the opacity for the inner box to zero. Select the outer box. Again, let's use a light blue and crank up the opacity to 100. And now if I save it and go to preview, you see the background of the sticky header is over the full width of the page. And if I scroll down, the design fits better if you have selected stretch background to the page edges. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it and want to see more of our content, subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions or feedback, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. See you next time.